Welcome to Unbiased and On the Fence. I'm Shane. Thank you so much for joining. This one is all about how to create residue or how residue is created. Um, I had a question from Jet Dead GPK um, about my thoughts on how residue is created. And, uh, and I thought it was a good idea to cover it because the whole reason I wanted to know how it was created was so I would know how to find it. And so I wanted to kind of put my theories out there about how residue survives and um, to get you all to consider the residue you found or you've seen and see if it fits into this whole idea I've come up with. Because if it's faulty, then I need to go back to the drawing board. But I think uh, when you see uh, channels like uh, Moneyback73, who um, he doesn't have any problem finding residue, and I think it's because either consciously or subconsciously, he uh, he knows the key to finding it, and that is, um, and it gets back to that right and left brain thing. Um, you know, I've also I've said that I feel like a lot of the changes are telling us to get back to our right brain, which is our imagination, and our connection with others, our godlike brain, creativity, things like that. And I think that's how you find the residue. I think, um, uh, like I said with Moneyback73, when he finds residue, it's because there's artists that do cover songs and they've practiced the song, they've memorized it, it's become part of them. They're not reading from a script. They are going to their brain and singing the song how they know it, it is. And they sing it the way it used to be, even though the artist now sings it a different way and uh, so that's how I think residue is created so if you come across an ad in a store that says Febreze and it's spelled the other way then I think and this was the example I gave dead GPK in the comment when we were discussing it was you know someone can copy and paste it over in which case it would get changed because what they copied would have changed and they would have copied and pasted the new way but if the person sort of looked at it or went off of memory, somebody said, we need to do uh, some labels for, for Febreze. And then they just, in their mind, remembered how it was spelled. And they typed up their little thing or wrote it out. Uh, then the Febreze would be the way it used to be. And I think it's a pretty good theory that holds, seems to hold up anyway. And um, so while I'm on the subject of uh, dead GPK and our discussion about residue, I've got a link. Uh, all these are linked below, um, including this one here by Dead GPK, who found this great residue for the mirror, mirror on the wall. Look at this here. She would look into her magic mirror and ask, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all?" So I think uh, um, there you have it residue whoever wrote that didn't copy it they either you know went internally with their memory oh and I, you know I forgot to grab this clip there was a clip of Trump's wife um, doing that the Lord's Prayer have you guys seen that you can google it if you want I think it was uh, uh, January of 2016 where she's reciting the Lord's Prayer as it used to be so if she's looking down in her Bible and she is quoting, reading it, how did that survive if the Bible now changed? And I think she already had memorized it. And although she might have been looking at it for extra support, I mean, we've done this. I don't know if you all have done any kind of public speaking or, or anything that, you know, you had something memorized and you were going to recite it, but you could have it there as support in case you stumbled up or you know whatever and, and she probably had it memorized and she was simply looking at it and you know almost reading along with uh, what she was reciting with the Lord's Prayer because she said it in its original way um, and I think that's a pretty good theory because many people have had a, to um, you know memorize the Lord's Prayer and I think that would uh, explain why that didn't change although the Bible she was holding might have changed she really wasn't reading she was really reciting it while she was looking at it and I think it works you know 
So, um, while thinking about residue, I've got one that uh, actually, and I want to thank the green man for sending this over to me. This is uh, not residue, but it shows how this old style box, you guys remember this box growing up? I saw this and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, the old style box the old letters and stuff look at this that's just wild this is the new way it's spelled but the old style box that I remember growing up as a kid seeing and look at the O's and the, the fruit loops in there that's just crazy looking but here's an example of where the right brain wasn't introduced here we just literally have the old box so that's changed in a way that's always been changed so it's just going to reflect that but here, and this also came from the green man, once again, thank you so much for sending this over. Here's a scene from Airplane 2, and uh, I saw this as a kid, you know, and it's funny that they do this little scene right here with E.T., uh, and just listen right here. Do you guys remember that clip from... Uh, airplane too that's funny but he says phone home and uh, that's another instance where it wasn't a direct copy um, it was someone either uh, knowing how the, the original movie was and writing it into the script but no copy and pasting so as far as it changing it did it now I had a uh, let me see here. Uh, Myra Starr sent me something that I found pretty interesting. Now, I looked into David Icke years ago. And, um, you know, he... And I don't know how many times this has happened. That I've come across material and it was just a little too far advanced for me. So, I kind of threw it out. Well, David Icke was like that. I came across him probably 15 years ago. And... He sure seemed like he knew what he was talking about, but it just got way too weird with the reptilians and just, it was just too much for me, you know? And now that I consider that stuff could be true, I, um, you know, I haven't really been back to visit him too much, but I noticed this video that, um, Myra Star sent me came out in, uh, 2012 December 30th of 2012 now he is talking exactly about what I was talking about what I'd read in the uh, uh, in the new book that I got with the Seth material about how we create our own reality and he used the eye as an example how the eye looks out and uh, you know what it sees isn't the eye itself but uh, I don't know you, you, you'll have to I'll put that link um, in the card above if you want to go check that video out but it's basically us creating our, us manifesting our own reality and he uses the example which I thought was really nice of uh, David Icke does here of looking in the mirror of uh, changing reality by changing ourselves or changing the way we think changing our consciousness and he talks about you don't comb the mirror when you want to fix your hair you comb your own hair and you're, you observe the change in the mirror. And that's sort of how our reality is. If you want to change the outside world, you got to change the inside world. And that gets sort of back to that Man in the Mirror song by Michael Jackson that he put out years ago. Starting with the Man in the Mirror. Well, really, that's the whole process. Is a, And let me just play uh, just a few seconds of this clip. This is the clip from this uh, video it's here. The Illuminati's manipulation of humanity's imagination of itself. Once they got control of that, they know that we will manifest through this process of creating these holographic illusions. Um, we will manifest the world that suits them. And that is uh, right along with what we talked about before. Now, I had a, a few strange things besides the residue. I want you guys to uh, consider because I, I found it pretty odd that um, something new is happening and I want to see if you all are experiencing this as well I did the video about uh, the music in the song the mamas and the papas 
California Dreamin'. If you know that song, would you do me a favor and just look it up on YouTube and listen to it and report below as to whether it says, I got down on my knees and began to pray or I got down on my knees and pretend to pray. Um, because I hear pretend to pray when I pl play it now. You look up the lyrics, it says pretend to play. I've got um, at least one or two viewers that have said that when they listen to it, they still hear began to pray. Now I find that awfully odd. And then I've just gotten a, uh, another uh, comment someone left where they said that their Bible changed. And you guys remember when uh, Jesus was casting the demon out of somebody in Mark 5, 9. And it says, uh, we're legion for we are many. Um, I found that uh, he said that it changed to instead of legion it says mob now and I was like what it still says legion in my uh, Bible would you look and see if it changed back or if it still says mob so I'm waiting to hear back on that one and then uh, oh yeah and then I've got Raleigh who uh, made the comment about how numbers don't change you might have uh, letters change and things like that but why don't numbers change why aren't numbers affected so I wanted to have you all also chime in below if that seems to be the case for you all or if you've recognized any number changes so these are all theories and thrown out there to uh, you know sort of creating a think tank here for everybody to join in on and you can let me know uh, what you think about it because it's definitely interesting stuff and if we're now going into a point where um, people are experiencing reality differently in real time, like it's not really a flip-flop, but it's like someone's flipping while someone's flopping, so to speak, <laughs> then we've got some new stuff going on, and we've got some very exciting things happening. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this broadcast. I just wanted to, uh, oh, and thank you so much. Uh, Drew for coming on yesterday. I had a blast with you and uh, you guys can check out that video uh, Where we talked about all sorts of things which brings up this whole uh, oh, I've got to also check out that Mamas and Papa's uh, video that he mentioned too. So yeah, do me a favor and just uh, if you guys can chime in if you already knew that song Let me know how that sounds to you. Are you are you hearing it in a new way pretend or do you st still hear it as uh, began to pray? I'd be interested to see uh, what kind of results we get with that. So that is it for this broadcast. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.